Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I'm ready to do my full review on the Millie. This is the Spyderco Military, an S90V with carbon fiber show scale and a titanium frame lock. And this knife is probably the most Millie you can get out of a Millie. This configuration is just awesome to me. I dig carbon fiber, I dig titanium frame locks, I dig S90V as a blade material. So this knife has a lot going for it. If you've watched my unboxing of this knife or my first impressions of this knife, you'll know that I've never owned a military. This knife is on loan to me from my buddy Jason from the Millie PM2 Para 3 Club. Um, I will link to the Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube of the Millie PM2 Para 3 Club down below so you guys can check them out genuinely my favorite Facebook group, um, one of my favorite pages on Instagram, and they're putting out awesome videos on YouTube, Jason primarily being the one making those videos. So kudos to him for being such an awesome friend and lending me this. Thank you sincerely. I, I genuinely appreciate it. So let's talk about this knife a little bit. And I got a little bit long-winded in my first impressions because I wanted to express why I've never had one of these and... Uh, just kind of my philosophy behind what I think this knife is and, and how that relates to why I've never had one. And I got kind of in the weeds a little bit. And so to be as short about that as I can be without having rehearsed this, let me say the reasons why I never owned this, this being the full review, the reasons why I never owned a Millie were because of its size and because it is tip down carry only. This knife is bigger than I traditionally am comfortable carrying as an EDC, and I prefer tip-up carry. That's just my preference. This knife, when it's closed, is big. When it's open, is big. It's not super lightweight, although for its size, it's not unacceptably heavy, and it's tip-down only. So... <sighs> It's the tip down thing is not going to change. The size is not going to change. So the reality is how do I feel about them? The tip down only I can live with this knife. I do not really like in my front pocket. It's acceptable in my front right pocket where I typically carry my primary, but where it's really comfortable is if I move it back a slot to my back pocket. My back right pocket specifically, having this ride up against the edge of the pocket so that the blade is resting against the edge. And if I were to put anything behind it, it would be sitting on this side of the knife. Um, I don't usually carry anything in that pocket, although I do dangle my keys in that area. So I'd be worried about them jingling up against this. Every time that I've carried this knife, and I think I've carried it five or six times in the week that I've had it, there's only been one or two days that I haven't gotten it into pocket. It's, it works. It's okay. But it's bigger than I really want for most days. If I owned one of these, I imagine I'd probably carry it once every now and then. It wouldn't be like a regular rotation EDC knife for me. And if I carried it, it would probably be as my secondary, which is funny because usually my secondary is a small knife, but I, I love having my primary be consistent. So it's usually my primary on a typical day is a knife that's at least three inches long, usually more like three and a quarter to three and a half, maybe 3.6 or seven if I'm pushing it. But once it gets beyond that, it feels too big for that spot, especially like this one with the hump here and the way this one sits. Like if this is clipped into my pocket, I keep, I keep a front pocket wallet in my right pocket that shares the pocket with my primary knife. That's the way I carry my wallet. That's the way I carry my primary knife. This one, because it's got this hump here instead of tucked to the back, it's just less than ideal. I think if this knife was tipped down, I could sincerely, I probably wouldn't want to keep a deep carry clip on it because then it would go, it would like bottom out in my pocket. But if this knife was tipped down, I could foreseeably carry this as a primary and it would be comfortable because the weight and the profile isn't as much the problem as it is the orientation. So when I do carry it, it goes in the back pocket. And like I said, that's okay, but I don't prefer it. Usually I want to have my primary be like I already outlined those parameters of what I normally carry. And then I want my secondary, what goes in my back left or right pocket or in my fifth pocket or in my waistband, the knife that's not the one that I want to like 
have my muscle memory grab if there's a situation where I need a knife, the extra knife I have on me is going to be smaller than my primary and ultra comfortable so I can tuck it into those smaller, less comfortable places and not have it bother me. This would just be a big knife to have in addition to my primary, but I don't like the idea of not having my primary where I want it to always be, if that makes sense at all. So I, I have to still count that against it if I'm being honest about it. I understand that for some people and their ecosystem of how they carry knives, this is totally acceptable and I respect that. But for me and the way that I like to have knives in my pocket, it's just less than ideal. The other thing is going to be the size because <laughs> what we just talked about is more carry than, than size really. Because the size of this when it's closed... Again, if it was tipped down, it would be fine. But let's talk about its size in, in the real, like, ergos and cutting ability and functionality of this knife as a knife. So I was worried that because this knife was so large that it wouldn't fit my hands on the smaller end of the scale. And it actually does fit my hands really, really well. The way this handle is shaped, this primary grip area here feels to me about like it does on my PM2. The difference is I have more room to choke up and more room to choke back. So I just have room on either side of my hand, but my hand is comfortable here, it's comfortable all the way up here, and it's comfortable all the way back here. If I was gonna chop with this knife, it would be great. Do I wanna chop with S90V? No. S90V is not a tough steel. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But assume I had one of these in M4. Yeah, I could chop with this. Absolutely. That'd be great. So the ergos, the size of the ergos are fine with me, frankly. They're really quite good. And the size of the blade, this blade length doesn't bother me one bit. I've still got a really precise tip on here. I've got a little bit of belly. I've got a nice amount of flat. The way this all comes together... This is a super usable, very functional blade shape that I dig. For super fine, like detail-oriented tasks, I might want it to be a little bit smaller just because it, it's the tip is so far out there now that getting really precise with it might be a little more difficult than like a two and a half inch knife, sure. But this is not too big. It's really not. And again, if this knife carried the way I wanted it to, and I could carry this as my primary, then I would just carry a very like slicey precise secondary knife to go along with it and then if I need something really really precise with a tip I can reach out to then I would I would use my secondary for it but because this can't really be my primary in the way that I carry a primary it's not that it I shouldn't say couldn't but it, it wouldn't be if this was my knife I just wouldn't carry it that way uh, I don't think I'm going to end up owning a millie now all of that being said those kind of gripes that I still, in a way, have with the platform. This knife is incredibly well made. I mentioned in my first impressions that I was kind of under the impression for a while that the Millie had become antiquated by the PM2 and the Para 3. Because obviously the PM2 and the Para 3 sell in much higher volumes. They're a size that off the bat I already know works better for me. They come with more clip orientations, they're four-way reversible, tip up, tip down, right hand, left hand, they're more configurable, and there's just a lot more about them that to me makes sense on paper for most people's needs in the knife. Most of the people who I've seen rave about the Millie have been people much larger in stature than me, or who at least have much larger hands than I do. It's not that I'm a small guy. I'm six feet tall. I, I can carry a knife reasonably well, even if it's large. And it's, it's usually okay. It's more about the way that it carries if it's large. Like this knife is less comfortable for me to carry than the Spyderco Subvert was. And the Spyderco Subvert is stupid thick, like really thick, especially right at the butt where the clip goes. But with that, I could get my hand in my pocket past it still. And it felt like a bulge in my pocket, but it wasn't ruining the rest of my pocket space the way this one does. So I don't know, I guess take all of that for what it's worth. But what I really want to say is... This knife isn't antiquated because of the PM2 and Pair 3. It's really not. This knife, in many ways, and in fact, I, I can almost say as if it's fact and not opinion, it feels nicer, like more expensive 
better crafted than a PM2 or a Para 3. Being a titanium frame lock gives it this certain level of rigidity and, and it feels more solid and more substantial. And it's just really, it's a well done frame lock. I think this is the first golden Colorado frame lock knife I've ever experienced. I don't recall ever owning or even using a frame lock from golden Colorado. And so I like the way that they do their frame lock. I like that the cutout is internal. I like the length of the lock bar. I like the way that the action rides on it. I like that it feels like utilitarian and almost tactical, but it's still got a smoothness to it. And I mean, this knife is called the military. It feels like it could see action, but it also feels really refined, especially in this setup being titanium and carbon fiber and S90V. It's just a really well done spider co it reminds me in some ways in terms of its like level of niceness i've commented a few times that my s90v fluted carbon fiber native five is the nicest made golden colorado spider co that i've owned this feels a lot like that in terms of just the way the tolerances came together and it feels different than a compression lock g10 pm2 or para 3 in a really fresh way so I really like this knife. Would I be mad if I owned one? No, I would love to own one of these. But there are other things that, frankly, I'm going to be spending my money on instead of them because they're knives that I would actually carry more often. And this knife, just the way that it sits in pocket, again, it's workable in the back pocket. It's, it fits in my front pocket. It's not that it doesn't fit. It just It's not ideal for me. And I've got to be honest about that. So... If you carry a different way than I do, you may freaking love the Millie. <laughs> Most of you are, are, have probably already kind of made a decision on the Millie because if you're aware of Spyderco, you're probably aware that this model exists. It's a very, very well-known model. So I doubt that any of this comes as news to anybody, but maybe if you're someone who, like me, saw them for a long time and hasn't given one a shot, maybe my remarks help you to understand that for you it might work and then you should give it a try if the way you carry can accommodate this then this is a lot of knife and it's a lot of very very nice knife especially in this configuration i'm really stoked that this is the one that jason lent me to try out because if there's any one that would give it a fair shake it's this one it's just it's really really nice and this is his user this knife has seen some miles it's got some snail trails on it um he's cut plenty with it it's in excellent excellent shape but it's been used and so for it to still feel this nice and this fancy and special even with some use and some wear on it it's it's a really really cool knife anyways that'll be my full review i'm not going to ramble on any longer about it i really like the millie it's just not quite for me I'll stick to my PM2s and my para 3s, and those are what I'm much more comfortable carrying. If they were to do a tip-down Millie, I'd buy one. I really, really would. <laughs> Maybe I could have someone modify one to make it work tip-down or something. I don't know. Maybe that's something worth exploring, but I don't think any Millies have come tip-down. So, Spyderco, drill some holes over here. And, uh, and I'll get one from you. But until then, I think you, you kind of lost me. Anyway, that'll be that. This has been fun. I'll see you guys on the next one.